Oh, oh and that's trouble for the nine. Uh, nine one that's one. Nine, well, that's Michael Fassbender. That's Michael Fassbender. Oh no! And, that... and that's a lot of tyre wreckage. Oh. Now he's gone in backwards again into the Porsche curves. Wow! Uh, Michael Fassbender coming towards the end of his driving stint here. Uh, he had 18 minutes left to complete his six hours. Well, he's going to have to go back out again then, because that's he not going to be completed What's in the pit here? lane. Gone it's... wide, yeah. the car spat back again, and that's a big hit. That's a big hit. Yeah. Well, it's climbed the tyre barrier. It's still driving, and that's... It's just one of those classic Le Mans accidents. That it's one of those places where you'll see it time and time again. He's, he's trying to keep the car within those white lanes. Yep. Yep. Uh, but in that instance, he should have just opened the wheel and run the car wide. Took, yeah. took the, the penalty that was coming his way for going over the white line, but now he's going to have to spend some time in the, fit, the pits to get that fixed. Yeah, that car coming in from ninth position in the hands of Michael Fassbender, the Irish German Oscar Nomoni. This is the end of a, a five-year program it is. to come to, to to bring his driving level up to the level where he can compete in the Le Mans 24 hours. He's raced in Porsche Carrera Super Cup. He's raced in other GT programs. He's raced here on Road to Le Mans. There you are. Look, there's a, a few guys on the podium just that's, having that's a, a photo. Yeah, it is. Media and PR guys there. I would suggest to you that's probably this year's voting committee for the media award. Let's hear okay, from... Okay, we put the car inside the garage. Fuck! Apologies for, obviously, the excitable language, and exactly as you said, Peter, he was just trying to tighten the line when he realised he was going to run out wide. <laughs> 